Hello, very warm well welcome. Driver ratings for the Imola Grand Prix. All 20 drivers rated out of 10. Now, this is my opinion. Of course, it causes controversy, driver ratings, but I give an honest opinion. I'm right there, weekend out of 10. Uh, we saw a crazy Imola Grand Prix. We saw wet rainfall and it just made the race an epic. If it was dry, it probably would have been like four overtakes. So the rainfall actually made it exciting. Max dominated the race. We saw a mega shunt between Bottas and Russell. And we saw Lewis Hamilton never give up. And Norris on the podium. So much happened at Imola. It was a great race. I really enjoyed it. So all 20 drivers covered out of 10. Let's get into it. First, we start with Kimi Raikkonen. I give him a 7. Now, as I'm recording this, he does not have a penalty. But he is under investigation. But we're going to do these ratings now. So, 7. Trip through the gravel in FP3 at Ravazza. P16 in quali. Not a great quali for Alfa Romeo. It was a horrifying qualifying because they got beat by the Williams. A much better race. And you notice Kimi Raikkonen didn't make many mistakes when everyone else did. So he finished P9 and brought the car home. He could get a penalty yet, but as I record this, he hasn't. Um, next driver, Giovinazzi, 5. Now I am giving him a 5 because I feel like he had a lot of bad luck. Spinning the gravel in FP3. On his qualifying lap, he got blocked by Mazepin. P17, quality, not great. And then very unlucky weekend for Antonio. And he had to come in the pits to basically solve a brake issue. Very unlucky for the Italian at his home race. George Russell. Now, you know I'm a huge fan of George Russell, but I give him one. Um, yeah, P12 in quali, fantastic. He was on the back foot. Latifi was schooling him. And he once again delivered in quali. Um, and he was in the points again at Imola. He was going for a move on Bottas. Now, we all know Russell should have that seat anyway. And, yeah. Bottas kinked to the right. Russell, very aggressive. Had DRS open. Got two wheels on the grass. Hit Bottas. Now, if you're blaming anyone for that accident, it's George Russell's fault. And again, you have to mark these... I mark these drivers as I see it. So I give Russell a 1, because if anyone's to blame, it's him. And again, a big chance for points. Williams have to capitalise on days like this. And again, two years in a row, it's tossed away. So yeah, I, I stand by my mark. Nicholas Latifi. Now, I'm going to actually give him 5. Um, because... It was one of his best weekends, Latifi. He was actually beating Russell in the practice sessions. Of course, he had a couple of offs. Threw the gravel in FP1. Best qualifying, P14. Uh, damaged the front wing um, in FP3. But it was one of his better weekends. He actually looked on the pace and a bit sharp. And he spun off well. He went wide on lap one. Came back on the track quite uh, he did, didn't give Mazepin enough room, and he ended up in the wall. Sergio Perez, P, uh, P5. Five. Yeah, hero to zero. An amazing qualifying with P2, but in the race, he gets an uh, amateurish penalty and binned it all by himself. So, yeah. He was hero. P2, out-qualified Max, and then the race was so bad. He spun under the safety car. Then he overtook two cars under the safety car, a slam dunk penalty. Then he was running fourth after serving his penalty, and he dropped it. And he ended up finishing P12. So, yeah. Max, 10. Qualified P3 would have been very angry as he was out-qualified by Perez. But he dominated the race once again. A perfect start by the Dutchman. Very aggressive into turn one. 
fair as you like for me as a Hamilton fan. Any driver would have done the same. And he absolutely dominated the race. 25 points in the bag. A real title defence on our hand. Well, a real title fight on our hands. The only problem he had was nearly dropping it under the safety car, which would have been highly embarrassing. Of course, he had a reliability issue in practice too as well. Carlos Sainz, 8th. 8. Hor- I say a horror qualifying. P11, that was not good enough for Carlos Sainz. But again, Carlos Sainz is a bit of a Sunday man. Uh, big shock that he was out in Q2, but he finished P5 in the race. Strong result for Carlos. Still getting used to the car. Strong points for the team. Uh, he made a couple of mistakes, but he finished the race. Charles Leclerc, 9. Now, Charles Leclerc should get 10, but a crash in FP2 at the Rat- Ravazza. A very light crash. P4 in quality, P4 in the race. He spun on the formation lap, but apart from that, it was a world-class weekend for the Monegasque. Yeah, but you can't give him 10 because he did damage the car in practice. Like, we judge these drivers over practice, quality and the race. Sebastian Vettel, 4. Now... I've actually been quite kind on my mark for Vettel because he had a lot of problems in the race and I actually kind of felt bad for him. P13 in quali, not great. Retired in the race due to brakes. Now, he had a big problem at the start of the race. Had to start from pit lane. He then got a 10-second stop and go for not having the tyres fitted within the five-minute mark. So, yeah, feel a bit sorry for Vettel. A lot of issues. Lance Stroll, 8. P10 in qualifying, P7 in the race. Absolutely amazing to say he had brake problems. And once again, he outshines Sebastian. Mazepin, 0. Two huge spins in the last corner. Not covering himself in glory. Keeps spinning, spinning, spinning. Block Giovinazzi in qualifying. Spin in the race. Finished last in nearly every session. I mean, he's just not covering himself in glory, is Mazepin. And the haters will be out and crucify him. And he's already got the nickname of Mazespin. Yep. Mick Schumacher, 6. Now, I give him a 6. Beat Mazepin all weekends, but he did do a big rookie mistake in the race. As he dropped it under the safety car... Damaged his front wing. Then the pit lane was closed. He had to do a lap without a front wing, which is very strange and surely a safety like ground. P18 quality. Beat Mazepin all weekend. And yeah, big error in the race. But another race that he finished. Yuki Sonoda, zero. Now Mazepin and Sonoda are rookies and it pretty much showed in this weekend. Big spin in FP1. Qualified 20, 20th after a big crash in qualifying. Took too much curb. Damaged the rear of the car. A big shunt. Alpha Tori have great pace. And for Sonoda p- to pull it in the wall was a big, big mistake. And then he spun in the race and received a five-second penalty for track limits. Pierre Gasly, 7. Amazing qualifying. With P5. Alfa Torre very strong pace. But Gasly was on the wrong tyres at the start. He went backwards. He was Everyone was overtaking him. He somehow finished 8th. Which is quite a, an achievement to say how far he was going down the field. But obviously Alfa Torre won't be happy. Because this is a strong track for them. Valtteri Bottas won. Now first of all. It's great to see that Bottas is okay. And I don't put any blame on him for the incident. But it's quite clear to see. Well, I've said it for months, probably years, that Bottas, he just shouldn't be in the Mercedes. Now, look out for a Bottas video later in the week. But yeah, he was fastest in practice one and two. And then his weekend went to shit as he qualifies eighth. Got stuck behind Lance Stroll. Couldn't overtake. 
and then had a huge shunt with George Russell. Slightly moved to the right, but I don't think he was at fault for the crash, 100%. Um, I'm not his biggest fan, but I don't blame him for that crash. He should lose his seat, in my opinion, but we said that for ages. He was absolutely nowhere in the race. He couldn't overtake. And you saw it was possible in the Mercedes with Hamilton's fight back. So a shocking weekend for Bottas. I mean, again, another guy who's not covering himself in glory. And already he finds himself on the back foot in the championship. Lewis Hamilton, seven. Now I've marked him down because of the rare mistake that he made. I have no favouritism when I'm doing these driver ratings. Once again, he delivers when it matters with a world-class pole lap. Under the pressure. A gracious tweet to Lando Norris after his disappointing quali. But in the race, he he should have backed out at the start. He kept his foot in, went over the rumble strips. Then he was trying to lap George Russell. uh, Got on the wet patch. Driver error, 100%. Got very lucky that he was allowed to unlap himself. And what I loved about Lewis Hamilton was his drive and fight back. Bottas couldn't overtake. Hamilton proved it was possible with moves on Stroll, Sainz, Leclerc and Norris and Ricardo. So great fight back by Hamilton. Fastest lap. Damage limitation. Lando Norris, 10. Another podium. Great to see. P7 in quali, he did go P2, uh, but track limits and justified he was miles out. In the race, he had so much pace. And you've got to give a big shout out to Daniel Ricciardo for playing the team game and letting him pass. Lando was very quick all weekend. And he's on the podium, very impressive. First time two Brits have been on the podium since China. Daniel Ricciardo, eight. Now, that might be a bit too high for Ricardo. I mean, he qualified six, finished six. Great team player. Still getting used to the car. But, yeah, he got really outshined by Norris. Fernando Alonso, zero. Absolutely zero. Absolutely awful. Awful. Now, that may be harsh, but like I say, I give an honest rating. Absolutely awful. Outshined by Ocon. Of course, it's only his second race, but he's a double world champion. Horror quali, P15. Miles off Ocon. One of his worst qualies. Battered by Ocon all weekend. And yeah, P11 in the race. Had a good battle with Ocon in the race, but for me, he was shocking. I give him zero. Esteban Ocon, eight. One of his better weekends as he destroys Fernando Alonso. He qualifies P9 and finishes P10. Uh, He had a strange incident with Sergio Perez in practice one. But yeah, one of his best weekends as he scores a point. So there we have it. Driver ratings for the Imola Grand Prix. Of course, driver ratings causes debate. uh, But this is my honest opinion as we rate the drivers out of 10. Comment down below your thoughts. Would love to know. Um, Yeah. Of course, this is my opinion. Yours could be different. Feel free to leave it in the comments. Driver ratings for Bahrain was well supported. Hopefully, this one is as well. And we go on to Portimao in two weeks' time. Um, What a weekend. We've done a preview. We've done a track guide. All practices, quali, the race, and driver ratings as we wrap the Imola Grand Prix weekend. Look out for a Valtteri Bottas video later in the week. And yeah, thanks for the support recently. Absolutely outstanding. Consistent uploads, new people getting involved. And it's great to see. A lot of motivation at the minute. Adios.